Hiya guys, it's Talon here. Back with another before we buy, and this time we're going to do the class 419. Now the class 419 is an expensive DLC, it's 12 pounds. And I was umming and ahhing about getting this for quite a long time. It's not something that overly interested me. We'll come on to some of the features in a minute. The only thing that really interested me, ironically, was that it came with a Network Southeast livery. And there's not a huge amount available for Network Southeast in the game. And, um, yeah. So these are the two liveries. We've got Jaff Cake and Network Southeast. However, it actually comes with something hidden. And I'll come on to that a little bit later on. Because this isn't quite the the bland DLC you'd imagine. It actually means, in a lot of ways, it saves you buying two other DLCs which are quite pricey. So, okay, let's have a look at, uh, at one of these in action. So, to all intents and purposes, it, it operates very much like a passenger train. If we uh, do the unload passengers, it'll open the doors up. It's very, very nice modelling. I love the interior here. You know, we see the parcels and the bags and that sort of thing. And it is true what it says, which is that you can build these into a scenario exactly the same way as you would the passengers, whereby you just pull up, do some luggage operations and pull away again. The, uh, it's great. You know, I mean, here we are. So we see it filling up. It's, it's really, really w well done. The only downside, because it's a beautifully designed train, the only downside about it is that if you're going for authenticity, there's only a couple of routes that is actually viable for use on, uh, which are the South London network and possibly the Chatham Midway, but it, it's unlikely to take that route down to Dover. So, but yeah, I mean, you know, in terms of DLC, all the members of the class are represented. Uh, it comes in a couple of liveries, uh, so I like the Network Southeast one. It's, it's very easy to build into other Network Southeast liveries alongside the Class 47 and, um, and a few others. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very, w very pretty little train. <sighs> I would just say, though, it's limited use, because, like I say, once you've played with it a couple of times, it's likely to be generally forgotten about in the back of your library. However, for the price it's for sale for, it comes with a couple of hidden extras, and that's what we're going to come on to now. Now, if we have a look at the, at the um, Steam page for this, again, it's not on sale. It occasionally is. It's not one of the mo more frequent ones. It's £12. Let's scroll right down the bottom here, and you'll see. This is actually the reason I bought this to begin with. Uh, but uh, forget all about all this stuff. That really doesn't interest me at all. I'm more interested in key features. In the key features, it says BR Class 4214 and BR Class 4234 VEP in BR Blue and Grey livery. Now that interests me, so let's have a look. Now we jumped into creating a scenario. Uh, on the right hand side here, I've already got, if we can find it, DPG 419 selected. But you'll see, and I've just disabled these in my Steam library because I actually, I've got the 421 and the 423 DLCs. But what I see, <coughs> and what you'll see, is that we now show class 421 and 423. What I've been messing around with is that that is identical, pack-wise, to the ones that are available separately as their own DLCs. So in other words, what, what I'm saying is that if you buy the 419 DLC, you will get given the 4 SIG and the 4 VEP DLCs for free. Now, in terms of finances, how does that stack up? Let's go and have a look. Now to start with the 421, there are f there are two 421s uh, available as DLCs, and it's important not to get the two confused. So if we just type in class 421, you'll see that there's the top one, which is the one that I'm showing now, the uh, BR class 4246. There's also a southern one. What this will not give you is the southern class 421, but it will give you the top one. It will not show in your library that you own it, but it will activate it from within the game. So in other words, what I'm saying, if we go on to the class 4, in fact we're on there already, if we go on to this, you will get absolutely all of this apart from the scenarios for the class 421. If you are intending on using the 421, the 4 sig in scenarios that you're making yourself, you don't actually need to buy this DLC, which effectively saves you, bob a bomb, six pounds. That's a bargain. Well now let's have a look at the 4 VIP. Which is class four two three. This one here. 
This is the one that you'll get. It's the one that activates from within the game, and I have checked this on my own account. Another six pounds. So we'll scroll down. Includes yada yada yada. Five scenarios, which you will not get. But you will get the four VEP in these liveries. So, one way of looking at the Class 419 DLC is that effectively you're getting two other six pound DLCs for free minus the scenarios. That makes it very, very interesting. So what does this mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, in theory, now the problem I've actually got is I do actually own both the 421 and the 423 pack. In theory, if we now enable pack 1, uh, which is the 421 BR livery, not pack 2 because it's southern, and the 423, as well as going up here, DTG, the 419, it actually gives us quite an array of engines. Um, now, what does it give us? Well, let's, let's start with the um, with the 419. It gives us the 419 Jaff Cake. It gives us the uh, 419 plus two TTAs. It gives us the pair of them. It also gives us the GUVs. Now this one is actually a really, really nice train to look at because I don't like that they haven't done livery for both, but with this particular one, these are the express parcels and they are really well modelled carriages. Really well modelled. The one gripe I've got with it, which I don't know if it's authentic or not, is if we do the same with the Network Southeast livery, which is this one here, they haven't done a Network Southeast livery for the GUVs. It's still in the standard express parcels with BR Blue. Now again, that might be historic, I really don't know, but it would, would be nice to have seen a complete train made up of, uh, of Network Southeast. So, we'll come on to the 421 and, and the 423. So, again, I can't actually try this, because the problem is if I disable my 421 and 423 DLCs, it actually automatically disables the um, the ones that are included in this pack too, so I can't actually test this, but certainly please let me know and let others know in the comments if this does work for you, if you own 419 without 421 and 423. But yeah, I mean, certainly the theory is that you'll actually end up with the, um, the 421, which is the 4 sig, this one here, and the 4 vep as well, which is this one. So, when you actually start putting all that together, that's actually a really, really <laughs> good value DLC. Now, these, the 4, the 4 one, sorry, the 4 2 one and the 4 2 3 will be drivable. You know, I mean, if we just give them, ah, uh, do you know what, it's going to make the video too long. If we gave them instructions, we could drive those very easily. I mean, you know, give them the driver, uh, give them instructions, and it wouldn't be a problem to actually make those drivable for us. And because they are identical to the ones in the respective packs, the only thing is they wouldn't be quick drive compatible as far as I know. They might be, but as far as I know they wouldn't be. And they wouldn't get the scenarios. It's that simple. But yeah, it's like I say, as an addition, the actual DLC itself, going back to, um, to what we were saying, is very good. You know, I'm very happy with these these engines. I, I love Network Southeast, and it complements it very, very nicely. I think they're very well modelled. I love the fact there's a pair of liveries. It gives you some interesting carriages, too. I, I really like the, uh, the Express Parcels one. With a couple of extra bits thrown in. Now, in terms of the price tag, let's go on to the summary. So where does that leave us? Well, it's a beautifully modelled train. Absolutely beautiful. You know, I, I love the detail, because it is a pro range one, this which, which kind of explains the price. I love the detail they've put into it. I haven't shown you a cab view yet, I will. It's a very, very nicely modelled cab, fairly generic in terms of things, but you know, I love the way that looks handwritten. £12 to me is just a touch on the high side. Just a touch on the high side. If it was eight pounds then i'd say buy it without hesitation it's a great addition the biggest problem that this dlc in particular faces is that there's such limited use for it because again it's only combat well it's only really viable to use it on a couple of lines but it's fun 
it's fun, you know, so I mean, I'm kind of hoping this, this video helps you guys, it at least gives you an illustration of what you can expect from it, but yeah, anyway, hope that helps guys, see you, see you for the next one.